So the one part on the shoulder that I uh, didn't talk about earlier was just the front part of here. So you've got your pec muscles, you've got your deltoid, um, and then the biceps, lateral intermuscular septum, tricep on the back, you've got your coracobrachialis in here. Anyway, when, when, you're, when a person's on their back, you can just come in here and just feel. So right there I can feel that there's issues, and this is clearly deltoid muscle. I can tell because the fibers are running like this. So um, that's a spot where I'd put the laser, and I would just plop it right down here, one there, probably the middle one kind of in this general vicinity, and the other one down here. So fascially, this all kind of really works together. So if you find spots up here, you're generally going to find spots down here, and here I can feel some spots down here. Now this is his lateral intermuscular septum, and this is tight. You can feel that, right, Mark? That soreness right here. Here it feels okay. There's a knot right there. Um, and so I would I would put a laser there, I'd put a laser up here, and I'd loosen this up too. So this is this is a position I would get people on, especially if they have pain over the AC joint or just in this general vicinity. It's a little easier to get them when they're on their back versus sitting in a chair. Um, but in the chair, this can be done too with them just sitting and then putting a the laser straight there, straight down, and straight from the back. That's another position that can obviously be done. So once you flip over, go face down. We're just going to go to the show the other shoulder here, but this is the other position that you can, can be gotten. So the uh, scapula is kind of a floating bone. I mean, there is a connection through the clavicle, but it's connected through the rhomboids. So this is a position you can obviously get the shoulder in. So the infraspinatus through here, teres major, teres minor, the um, uh, rhomboids through here, and obviously the whole trap, which covers everything. So this is a great position, just put the lasers, and I'll just show the setup for that real quick because it's, uh, it's easy. It's just the evaluating and then just going in and getting them in the right spots and working on something that's very useful. So any knot, any tight muscles, always a, obviously a great spot to work, especially if they say that's where their pain is. <laughs> so right through here, um, I can work up here too in the rhomboids and the traps. It's a little high for the rhomboids, but yeah, right there is. Um, and then get this out here in the infra, or I can do what I was saying earlier, where I can go for this spot, you know, down anywhere down through here and get these areas here. So there's a good knot right there. You feel that, Mark? Okay. And so that's a good spot to get down here. I don't feel anything, but there's, there could be problems down here. I just can't feel them in this position because everything is so slack. Um, here, this kind of stands out and I can feel this. So that's how you do that. And this is a good way too to use that middle laser more effectively, especially if you go here at an angle and get the middle laser a little closer to the person. Do that type of setup. Anything you want, just whatever knots you want to work on, whatever tight areas you want to work on, just orient these, the two outer ones so you can get them in the best spots to treat that and then let the middle one do it the best it can. You can also get from this position here, you can get the upper back. You might want to move that a little bit. Or I can maybe do this. Yeah, there we go. And you can just get this right like this. This is a great way to get the erector muscles that go straight up and down, spinal erector muscles. And again, you just go through and lightly feel, and you can just feel the ropey fibers going up and down. And since the erectors are, are more superficial muscles, here's an example too. You can go a little bit of an angle here trying to get more length versus depth. Just depends on what you're trying to do. So that would be a great spot right there to leave them there for 20, 30 minutes and just let that work. And then if they were going longer, just come in and just shift these around a little bit and just keep going after different things.